Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Let's Talk Rome Total War 2. Here I am on the official Rome Total War 2 website. So, first thing that I want to talk about is factions. Uh, like, all the factions I have, they have so far and what they can do in the future. and As well as um, faction management, I guess that would be the best term uh, for in in campaign. So, let's go... So far, they have revealed some factions, not all of them. They've revealed six of eight. You got Rome, Carthage, Macedon, the Iceni, I guess that's how you say it, who are a Britannian tribe, the Arverni, they are a Gallic tribe, and the Sube, Subi, I don't know, uh, they are a Germanic tribe. So, first thing I want to talk about is... Uh, I wish they have, they would have had more than eight factions. I don't think that's enough, um, especially considering the news that they're going to have a ton of factions in this game, way more than Rome One had. Um, so I really wish they would have added more playable factions. Now, what I hope they will do in the future, since it's probably way too late for them to just say they're going to add on more uh, more playable factions. Uh, they could do something like Shogun 2, where they release, like, a limited edition game, uh, where they have another faction that you can play as. I, I got the Shogun 2 limited edition, so my game came with the Hattori, and then later they added the Hattori as a DLC, as well as a few other factions. I think they should be able to do that for Rome 2, have, you know, DLC later on that allows you to play as other factions, or do something like a limited edition that will also allow you to get more factions, because I just don't think 8 is enough, especially for the increased map size, uh, the fact that there will be a lot more factions in this game. Uh, I just don't think it's quite enough. Uh, so, secondly, like Shogun 2, each faction will have, <clears throat> will have specialties. So, we can click on them here, let's get Rome. Uh, you got some cool screenshots here, too. The game looks is gonna look absolutely amazing. I'm so excited for this game, but um, yeah, like I said, each faction they they have strengths uh, that other factions strengths and bonuses that other factions don't have. Rome they'll probably have like some like bonuses to land armies because of course they were the uh, best trained, uh, most effective army at the time. Uh, you know, Carthage, I'm sure you'll get, like, naval bonuses and, um, as well as, especially trade bonuses. Carth Carthaginians were, of course, a trading faction historically, and they relied on mercenaries a lot. Uh, you know, I don't really know all the, all the bonuses that you'll get. I'm sure with the Germanians, you'll probably have, like, uh super high morale soldiers, you know, very good shock troops, that kind of thing. But uh who who knows what they'll be, but as far as that's concerned, it'll be quite like Shogun 2 in that aspect with the, all the faction bonuses. You can uh just look at some cool screenshots. I mean, this game really looks amazing. I absolutely cannot wait for it. <clears throat> So as for the other two factions, which have not been revealed yet, uh, I have my guesses. If I were to guess right now, I would say Egypt and an Eastern faction like like Parthia. That would be my two guesses as to the two remaining factions. I don't know yet. It could be anything. They could do a whole lot of things. They could do like a Greek city-state. They could do like an Iberian faction. They could do a whole lot of things. But as soon as the other two factions are revealed, I probably will... Uh, update that in a later video but now I want to move on to like faction management in campaign because <clears throat> I was actually really disappointed with uh, how you would be able to manage your faction in in a in the Shogun 2 campaign like um, now I thought diplomacy was really good I think they should keep definitely keep something like that or not really like Shogun 2, it wouldn't really make that much sense, but I definitely thought that Shogun 2's diplomacy was one of its strong points, but I'm talking about, like, family tree, 
and uh, all that sort of stuff, like generals and that. Like I, I didn't like how you would only be able to like enlist generals in random events. I didn't like that. Um, also, the family tree. I thought it was a bit. It was a bit screwed up. Like you could lose family members and like randomly gain family members. Not really gain, but definitely lose family members. Like if your if your brother, if like the faction leader died and he had brothers, like all of the brothers would so suddenly like no longer be part of the family. That was weird. <clears throat> so definitely like more control over uh, family trees. Like I think you should be able to name generals. That'd be really cool. Um, you know, definitely be able to set the air. But way back in Rome Total War One, that was like the last game that you could actually set the air of who you wanted your who, of the air of the faction for who you wanted to be the future leader once your leader died. <clears throat> Also, um, what was I going to say? I guess, like, with different factions, like, especially, like, Rome, definitely, like, have some sort of power struggle. Like, I guess among the families would be cool. I think they're already kind of planning on doing that, but, like, you know, being able to compete, like, in the Senate, have more, like, control over that, you know, like, in Rome 1, Basically, just the best generals would get elected to the Senate. I think they should be there should be like more more like behind like behind the scenes. I don't really know the best term, but more control over like who gets elected to the Senate. Same with like Carthage. They had their own like they had their own Senate. Uh, it'd be really cool to like be able to compete with like other other like AI kind of guys for uh, control in the Senate and be able to use the Senate for various things like um, you know getting money or getting permission to go to war I think that would be really cool <clears throat> so like and with the Gauls you could do the same thing or even Germany and the Britannians like with all the different tribes you should be able to like you know kind of have uh, like generals that would be able to unite tribes like through diplomacy not really have to like instead of just having to conquer all of Gaul to unite it like you could just make alliances or do something and combine factions and of course you would be able to like have control but <clears throat> well not really actually if you did that like their family members and your family members would be able to like com more kind of compete for power so if you were to combine tribes through an alliance or marriage or something, you could have the different families competing for power. That that would be really cool in my opinion. So you could do that with like a lot of the barbarian tribes. <clears throat> Greek city states as well. If they re release a faction that you can be a Greek city state, you can like combine and do the same kind of thing. So there's really a lot that you can do. Uh, I'm just going to browse around the Total War website. Uh, show you some screenshots. Here's the city of Carthage with a naval uh, battle. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna talk about that in a later episode. And there's the interior of Carthage. Man, it it looks so awesome. I'm so excited for this game. <clears throat> but um, yeah, that's really all I kind of want to talk about for factions right now, though. Um, You know, if if you get in the comments, you should definitely leave what you're looking forward to, uh, things that you've heard about that maybe I didn't mention in the game, uh, things that you really think that they should not have, like things that you've heard that they don't, you don't think they should have in the game, uh, and also your suggestions for what you want then want there won't wait for what you want Creative Assembly to add. So, go ahead and do that. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like this video and you want to keep up with my Let's Talk Rome Total War 2 videos, as well as my Shogun 2 videos, which I will be continuing to release probably all the way up until Rome 2. Uh, that's it for now. I'll have another Let's Talk Rome Total War 2 very soon. i uh, probably talk about naval battles uh, in the next episode. Because I'm very excited for Rome 2 naval battles, but 
I'm not quite sure how they'll end up. I hope they will be much better than Shogun 2 Naval Battles because I was pretty disappointed with those. But, yeah, that's it for now, so have a nice day.